proud to see our guys capitalize on those opportunities and uh, and be able to to get some scores and and uh, and be able to come away with a victory uh, on a long tiring trip and hopefully our guys are going to recover and do do a really good job of of getting some rest and getting ready for this week um, to play Miami who I'm really impressed with their team and their their coach is a, a college teammate of mine and uh, and they've played really really good football particularly the last few weeks and he mentioned that in his press conference yesterday and, and he's right they've they've played good football so we've got a real challenge on our hands and we just want to try to win uh, I don't know that we can feel like we're so talented or or uh, so big and physical that we can dominate people. We're just trying to do our very best to execute. And we've been fortunate the last couple of weeks to uh, to, to win by uh, a fairly comfortable margin. But I can tell you, we've had to slug it out. You look at the beginning of each of the last two games and what a challenge that was for us to get going. And, and, and sometimes we just we get in a groove and we're able to control the ball and that doesn't mean we're uh, we're scoring every time we've got it but we're at least controlling the ball and keeping it away from the other team to dress in our own locker room and play in front of our own crowd and play in front of the core cadets is really special for us and uh and and playing at mikey stadium this is a great place to play college football i understand we're going to have a really good crowd which is exciting for our team and and uh and and they deserve it. They they've uh, they've worked really hard and and uh, just the last few years to get this program to to a uh, a level that we can be proud of that represents this academy uh, the way it, it should be represented. And, and I'm glad that there's going to be a nice crowd out there to to welcome them back home.